Hello there, Leo. Welcome to my channel. Victoria here, Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your July, thank you, 2023 uh, love reading. If you are currently in a romantic relationship of some kind, or if it comes up a temporary separation from your person, this is the reading for you. If you are single and looking for a new love, please check out the singles readings that are already posted for you. So July, uh, we've got some good things happening, especially at the beginning of the month, um, between the first and the third of course we've got a full moon in Capricorn which can really help you slow down a little bit help you talk some things out help you release some things uh, full moons are always a chance to release get things out in the open and then move forward and start fresh um, we do also on the first of July we've got mercury entering um, cancer okay so we can have some emotional conversations and things like that at that time but mercury is also in a Kazemi with the sun a Kazemi is where the planet, in this case Mercury, is um, so close to the sun that it's almost a conjunction. So it's like in the heart of the sun. This can bring in a big burst of clarity uh, to things. This can illuminate you in some way, point you in the right direction. Um, this can also reveal hidden things like secrets come to light, that kind of thing, or just anything that hasn't been addressed or talked about comes out in the open in this energy. But we do very much have um, a very beneficial influence of Jupiter as well at that same time. Jupiter, of course, brings expansion and growth and luck and optimism. It also brings wisdom. So there may be some things that you're learning about your relationship or about your person, um, you know, or about, you know, how you communicate with each other. But we are in for a little bit of a bumpy ride, especially with relationships of all kinds in the middle of the month on the 22nd. Not only do we have the sun going into Leo, so it's Leo season, so happy birthday all of you Leos out there or your significant others, um, but the Venus is going retrograde. So Venus is all about love and abundance and our resources and all of that wonderful good stuff. Um, Leo brings excitement, flashy, showboaty energy, fire, creativity, right? All of that kind of really fun loving kind of energy. But with Venus in retrograde for a couple of weeks, okay, it's something to pay attention to because we can have a lot of passion, a lot of emotions, a lot of love in the air, but where we have fire, we have fun and excitement and energy and all this wonderful stuff, but we also, fire can heat things up, but fire can also burn, right? So wherever we have passion, right, we can also have, um, you know, that fiery, very spicy, um, a little bit unpredictable energy. So it might be very important for you um, to not necessarily... Um, make major decisions about a relationship towards the latter half of July. Um, if you're going to do anything like that, it's probably earlier in the month might be a better time for you to do that. So just know that we do have that energy, but you could have a lot of fun, right? You could have a lot of fun with that um, and not take things so seriously uh, with that Merc with that Venus retrograde, with that Leo influence, right? And, you know, instead of, you know, tackling the hard subjects or the heavy subjects in your relationship you're just out there you're enjoying it right and you're having that fun you're having that pleasure so we have embrace coming up here embrace what destiny has in store for you okay every relationship goes through ups and downs some of you have been with your person a short time some of you a long time and no matter where you are right now there's certain things that are destined to unfold in relationships and certain things that you are destined to experience um, levels of commitment that kind of thing so go with the flow and allow things to unfold naturally things will be a little bit easier for you we also have yin yang energy beautiful like the yin yang symbol twin flames contain an aspect of each other's character within themselves okay so you, some of you may possibly be in a twin flame relationship okay others you might just feel like you're with your soulmate um, and the thing is is when we get this it's a complementary energy the pieces fit okay um, you know you balance each other's energy out right so what some one person brings to the table uh, the other person may not ha possess those qualities or be extremely good at it and same with the other way around so this can be a wonderful complementary energy it brings balance and harmony into your relationship as well so it's a great energy there we also have labyrinth coming in 
even when you feel lost, there's always a way through the labyrinth, okay? So you, some of your relationships may be a little complicated. You might be taking some twists and turns. Um, you might be a little bit uncertain, right? Where are we going? Um, you know, and like I said, with the Venus retrograde, we've got that Leo energy coming out. Um, if you're not kind of gaining some clarity at the beginning of the month, just enjoy the ride. Okay, just, you know, take things one day at a time. Um, deal with things as they come up. Try not to push anything um, at this moment, right? Because, you know, things can tend to go a little bit sideways with this energy. So, yes, things are complicated and certain things do take some twists and turns. And we don't know where the end goal is, right? We don't know um, what's going to happen on our journey. So we do sometimes just need to let that go. And just like the embrace energy there, right? We just go with the flow, right? And, you know, leave the, some things will come to it, their inevitable conclusion. Some answers will come up eventually, but it's when we try and control things that we do tend to get stuck. And the labyrinth energy is not one of being stuck. It's just one of having a little bit of twists and turns and maybe even a little bit of uncertainty. Okay. So you might need to get some clarity, um, probably have those kind of conversations and things, uh, before the 22nd, um, the new moon, on the 17th is probably a really good place to do that. So new moon energy brings new direction, new opportunities and new doors opening for you. Um, and it can be where we can really uh, kind of set the next stage in motion. So it's probably be a much better time for you guys. Let's see what else we've got. We've got Leo energy front and center here with the strength card. Okay, so right in the heart of your reading, some of you, you're strengthening your bonds with your person. Okay, there is a lot of fire, there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of heat, but there's also a lot of love in this energy, right? When we have the strength card, this speaks to the strength of our bond with you and your person. This also represents that maybe you do need to tap into a little bit of inner strength to power through something, maybe some complications or some um, unforeseen twists and turns in your relationship here. But the strength card brings potential. Potential. It brings confidence. It brings the heat, right, to things. But it also really does bring courage, but also kindness, compassion, and patience. So we've got a little bit of duality that does come in with that strength card, just like the yin and yang, right? We've got that passion, that fire, that courage, right? That living life to its fullest energy when we need to, but we can also dial it back a little bit. We can also take that calmer, kinder approach at things, right? So we can put the excitement on the back burner and just enjoy. So some of you are forming very strong bonds, okay? Or there's something where you do need to tap into your inner strength. We've got the Knight of Cups that's crossing you here, okay? So this is usually a really good card. The Knights are always on a quest, right? And in the Knight of Cups, this can be, you know, invitations, offers of love and romance. Um, this can be things like um, engagements, right? Uh, engagement rings, okay? Someone popping the question, right? Because the Knight of Cups quite often does have a proposal on the sleeve, okay? But this is crossing you. All right, now for some of you, um, for some of you here, you're waiting for something, okay? There's a waiting game, or maybe you're questioning things, right? You might be in this contemplative kind of energy with the Knight of Cups crossing is, you know, am I in love? Where do I see this relationship going? Um, you know, or what can we do to have more um, emotional connection? Because with the Strength card there, you could have a very strong physical connection, Okay, but now you're looking for the emotional connection, right? Um, you know, you could also, in this energy, have a really strong bond with your person, but maybe in the Knight of Cups energy, it's a challenge, right? Maybe you're not finding the time to infuse more love and romance into your current relationship. So this could be where you're kind of working through something, right? Not only, you know, where is this going? And not only, you know, maybe it's time to express your feelings or figure out what, what feelings you do have. But of course, as we go through our relationships, we get distractions all over the place. And so this could be where you've had a lot of distractions lately. It's been a lot on your plate. And even though things are good with the strength card, it's just we haven't had that um, opportunity to spend that alone time with our person and really 
really connect on an emotional level, okay? So that might be part of a challenge with some of you, but I think some of you are kind of waiting for something here. I think you're waiting for some sort of news, um, you know, some sort of um, shift, shall we say, in your relationship, right? Um, you know, or there is the need here to express something, right? To get something out in the open, okay? So there could be some little relationship questions or hiccups there, um, but I think that um, you shall overcome and overcome indeed we've got the six of wands now this is in your crowning position so it's actually really important because this is in your head and this is your goals your thoughts your possibilities what you're thinking about what you know okay or what you want to happen the six of wands is an energy of victory it is one where we're confident that we can overcome our challenges overcome our obstacles okay it's one where we take the bull by the horns and we move forward all right so it is one where yes i've gotten what i wanted or yes i know i'm going to accomplish what i want out of my relationship and it's also one of moving forward right so perhaps some of you are really looking to move forward in some way in your relationship either you've just hit a bumpy patch right sometimes you know the knight of cups crossing maybe we're mad at our person or something right now or you know things like that right it happens okay there's love there but we're not feeling it 100 percent at the moment okay so there could just be some issues going along little complications but you're ready to move forward with that you want to move forward you want to overcome you don't want to just give up and throw in the towel okay and so sometimes we just go through those little ups and downs downs in the relationships. The Six of Wands also has you in the spotlight or at a public event. So with some of you with the Knight of Cups here, um, you may have already gotten engaged or entered a higher level of commitment with your person. And perhaps there is this energy here where you're planning some sort of public event, right? I mean, planning a wedding, that kind of thing. It puts you in the spotlight. Six of Wands is in the spotlight and you're recognized, right? Or you're recognizing your relationship. And so that comes with its own little set of issues when we're planning those kind of things. All right. But keep moving forward and you'll overcome that energy. All right. Um, so very, very nice energy with the six of wands. Some of you here also, your, your relationship is good. It's solid. Okay. And there's love here with the Knight of cups and perhaps because the six of wands is a card of, um, being in the spotlight, being public, right? Being recognized. Perhaps some of you here, you are ready to let people know about your relationship, right? You're ready to go public, if you will. Come out of the proverbial closet, um, if you will, with that relationship, right? And because sometimes people know you're dating and that kind of thing, but they don't know exactly what level you're at. So this can be where you kind of say, hi, you know, this is where we introduce our significant other to our friends, our family, um, or maybe you do uh, take your uh, significant other to some sort of public event, right? It's like, oh, all of a sudden you have a plus one and uh, all eyes on you six of wands all eyes on you we've got the page of wands this is beneath you the page of wands is super exciting okay and this is in your subconscious subconscious this is your feelings um, this is uh, your foundation and it's also what's driving you forward so with this energy with the page of wands um, I think there is an element of expectation coming in here um, because this does bring in something that you want to happen. Manifestations um, come to fruition with the Page of Wands. So I think you're expecting some really good news in this energy. For some of you, you want to have a little bit more fun and excitement in your relationship. The Pages do bring in, especially the Page of Wands, right? A sense of adventure, a sense of trying new things, a sense of, you know, let's get out and live life right? And this could be just where you're at in the month of July. You might go on vacation, right? You might just be, um, you know, getting together with friends and things like that. You might be attending some sort of event, all right? But the Page of Wands being that energy of manifestation, I think there is a high level of expectation of some fun and some romance and maybe even that engagement or stepping up your relationship and taking it to that next level. The Page of Wands pages can also represent children, so perhaps for some of you there, you might be, your biological clock might be ticking, male or female, right? Everyone has one, okay? Um, sometimes they tick and the alarm goes off and sometimes not, okay? But you might be thinking about starting a family, adding to your family, that kind of thing, or even blending families together, right? With that page of wands and that can be a challenge, but patience, 
and perseverance one day at a time and there there will be that level of acceptance right we can't force those things especially kids man they can be really stubborn um, if you're blending families right we need to give them the time and space to adjust right um, even though it is a positive thing so you could have a conversations or feelings okay around children in your relationship you may also be looking for your relationship to mature with the page of wands um, because some of you are, your relationship is in its relative infancy, okay? You, you might not have been with your person for 10 or 20 years at this point, right? So with the Page of Wands, because it is this youthful spirit, okay, maybe you do want your relationship to go to the next level and hence that's why we're waiting for that Knight of Cups, all right? In your recent past, we've got the Three of Swords and this is in reverse, okay? So this is energy coming in from june and maybe even beyond okay so maybe there's been something that has disappointed you the three of one the three of um swords is you know that broken heart energy right the sadness the loss the disappointment the heartbreak right the arguments the conversations that didn't go so well or you know the things that we're waiting for and haven't quite happened yet so some of you here with the Knight of Cups crossing could possibly be an apology, the need to restore the status quo. There is healing energy that comes in with the Three of Swords in reverse, right? And um, this is where we let things go. We open our heart again and we do heal, okay? And, you know, again, all those relationships do go in their ups and downs with this energy. But I do also feel the Three of Swords in reverse can possibly be someone holding on to some past hurts as well. So it's really important. And I like to use moon cycles um, as key indicators or like as a reminder of something, right? Just like, you know, if you still observe somewhere, uh, wherever you live, if you still observe like daylight savings time, right? Twice a year, spring and fall, right? And we all know that's when you're supposed to change the batteries in your smoke detector. Um, the moon can be a big reminder of things like relationship cycles, right? Full moon is when something comes to fruition or we get something out in the open, we resolve issues, we talk about things and then we let them go. The new moon, let's try something new in our relationship, right? Let's, um, you know, go somewhere different for date night or, you know, let's uh, go out and have a little bit of an adventure, right? Or we ta start talking about the future. So you can use the moon cycles as a reminder of those things in a relationship. So in the three of swords, there could be something here that you're holding on to or that your person is holding on to. And with the knight of cups, right, we do need to talk about it. We need to get, in the, get it out in the open and uh, restore that status quo. So you might be looking for like kind of that apology kind of thing okay whether that's you okay or whether that's your person but there's something there we're clinging to and in order to move forward in a healthy way right we've got to sort it out we've got to work it out okay um so but i think you can with the rest of the energy we've got the six of pentacles in your near future probably in the next few weeks and the six of pentacles is a beautiful energy of restoring the balance and harmony in a relationship the sixes come in after difficulties of fives right and so perhaps with that three of swords there has been some challenges or some difficulties within your relationship or your environment around your relationship okay when the six of pentacles here we're restoring the status quo and we are finding peace we're making amends and we're getting on the same page now the six of pentacles those of you who are perhaps waiting for a higher level of commitment or you know that pop in the question moment that kind of thing the six of pentacles can bring gifts okay something given to you so um it is pentacles so gold right um so you could very possibly be getting what you have manifested the page of wands and what you want all right so congratulations if that is you because that is very exciting and again maybe you were expecting something with that three of swords to happen previously and it didn't and you're like starting to go oh my goodness it's never gonna happen right and so here you go this can be where you get things back on track but the Six of Pentacles can also be receiving pretty much anything. It is the law of giving and receiving. It's a circulatory energy. The energy we put out circulates back to us multiplied. So this can be where you are receiving some advice from somebody. Maybe you have helped somebody previously, a friend or something, a family member, and now it's their turn to return the their turn their turn, yes, to return the favor. 
Okay, so whether it's just advice or assistance in some kind, or maybe a friend is helping to orchestrate something exciting in the background, okay, you might have some help and resources available there as well. Okay, so this can be something wonderful flowing back in. But it is a balanced energy as well, okay, so it can be equal levels of commitment, that kind of thing, and we're getting things on track in a very good, very positive way, maybe even a surprise coming for you. We've got the world card here as well, and this is you, your current attitude, and also advice from spirit. Okay, so you feel probably that you're end of a, you're at the end of a certain cycle. You're happy. Um, you're feeling a sense of completion, or maybe there is something that you need to get closure on, probably that three of swords, so that you can move forward in a healthy direction. The world card is where you feel good, you feel successful, um, and you're counting your blessings. Right, it's a cause for celebration. Okay, this brings in abundance of all kinds, right? An abundance of love and that connection. But it is the end of a cycle, so, and it is an expansive energy, so perhaps you are ready to take your relationship to that next level or do something new, right? Do something different. Um, because this is the next card, and of course, the series would be back to the Fool card, right? Adventure fun, excitement, the next stage of journey in your relationship, even though if you don't know where it's going. But the world card can also represent travel. So travel and adventure, right? Perhaps some of you do need a break. You need to get away, right? Things are maybe you haven't spent that time with your person. You haven't felt that closeness a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, for some of you. So now you need to have that little getaway. So with the world card, you could be like going on a honeymoon, and maybe you're going on an overseas trip somewhere. You could even be going on a short adventure somewhere, okay, a little quick weekend getaway or something. But with the world card, it tends to be big. So it tends to be like a big trip somewhere. Um, and so maybe there is something very exciting brewing in the winds for some of you. But your advice from the spirit with the world card here is that, you know, you might need to make sure that you get closure or wrap things up or get things out in the open so that you can move forward without a lot of baggage, right? So we can leave our um, difficulties or challenges, we can check them in at the back door, right? And then we can move forward in a healthy way. And just like those moon cycles that we come in, cleanse and purge, cleanse and purge. And uh, everything is an evolution, okay? So make sure you do close the door, close the chapter on anything that has been bugging you, okay? Or make sure that you are talking about the future, where are we going, right? And to make sure that you're both on the same page, on the same track, because there's nothing worse in a relationship with two people who are on a completely different tangent, but neither of them knows about it because we just make assumptions. Okay, so assumptions probably aren't the way to go. All right, but enjoy yourself. Spirit says enjoy yourself. The world is one of fun and celebration and anniversaries and um, parties and all of that wonderful stuff, right? And, you know, um, so for some of you, of course, you've got birthdays, right? So maybe you out your relationship at a birthday. Um, you know, maybe someone's having an anniversary party, a reunion, all of that kind of stuff can be happening here, right? And so there may be something that's going to happen and Spirit's giving you a heads up there, okay, that um, there might be something that does happen that's very positive at a public kind of gathering, a public event, right? Six of Wands can have that public event. It represents a parade, right? So something out in the open. So I think Spirit is telling you here to hold on to your hat because there might be something very exciting happening your external environment we've got the ten of wands there's your stress okay there's your burden so I think here for some of you the three of swords energy that's there is something externally that's been going on so it could be something financial six of pentacles okay um, it could be something with friends or with family okay just something there causing some stress and some burdens um, you know, perhaps someone has been uh, on a single income instead of a dual income for a while because economic uncertainty, all that kind of stuff. And someone is left holding all of the responsibility with the Ten of Wands, okay? So stresses, economic stresses, family stress, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So with the Ten of Wands, okay, we are at a completion, 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 right? We're ready to kick things up a notch here. Um, but there is something here where you do need to deal with something. Okay, just power through, just power through, right? And take things through to the next level. 
Ten of Wands is here, the next one up is the Page of Wands, right? So whether you need to talk about something, restore some balance, restore some status quo, okay, or whether there's just some things that you're dealing with that you need to complete before you can move on, right? So projects, responsibilities, all that kind of stuff can feel like a weight on your shoulders with the Ten of Wands, but like I said, it is one of never giving up and it's one of seeing something through to completion, all right? But the Ten of Wands reminds us about boundaries as well. Where do you need better boundaries in your relationship, internally or externally? And remember, this is external energy with the Ten of Wands. So something that is around you somewhere. It could be the energy surrounding you and your person, okay? But it can be coming in from other sources. So you might need to really have a look and see where you need to put up some boundaries or where you do need to restore some sort of responsibility because sometimes when we get the Ten of Wands, it's like one person carrying the weight and the, and the responsibility within a relationship, right? And, you know, we've got, you know, someone inevitably is that person who is the driving force or they're the ones that do the chores or do the gro get the groceries, make dinner, do the meal planning, take the kids to school, um, uh, you know, <clears throat> what else, do the laundry, right? All of this kind of stuff, right? And, you know, it can be very burdensome and very stressful. And so, you know, if you're in that position and your person's not doing any of that, maybe that's something that you do need to talk out um, and you do need to kind of restore some sort of equilibrium there. Um, just a little bit, right? Even just a little bit will go a long way. If you have um, any kind of medley friends or family, this can also create some stress. And um, so, you know, it's where you do need those healthy boundaries there as well. All right, so let's get a couple more cards for that. King of Swords, Conversations, Queen of Wands, and the Emperor. Wow. Okay, so for some of you here with this energy, there's some family dynamic going on. Okay, the Emperor can be like the patriarch, the head of the household, someone who is very much in charge and they want to control everything. Okay, the Queen of Wands. Okay, this is We've got the whole like kind of a wands family going on here, right? We've got your ten, we've got your page, and we've got your queen. So the queen of wands can be somebody, a friend, and quite often does come in as a best friend kind of energy. Okay, so this could be um, a friend giving you advice or, you know, um, someone you can lean on who might be very honest and truthful with you, but this can cause a little bit of a chain reaction in there because sometimes our bestie, right, will tell us what we want, what we need to hear. It might not be what we want to hear, okay? And we do have a King of Swords bring in a very important conversation. So this may be that the kind of thing that's going on is that someone is giving you some very important advice that can help you out, right? But ultimately is maybe something that can be a little bit difficult to hear because we need to absorb it and then we usually, you know, kind of need to mull it over a little bit and say, okay, yeah, you know what? You might be right, okay? So um, be, uh, be aware of that, that someone may be trying to give you um, a little bit of advice. They mean well. All of these cards are in the upright, okay? So they mean well. They don't mean you any harm, anything like that. It's just that sometimes other people's opinions, um, you know, when we if we feel like everyone's kind of point us in a direction or tell us what they would do, sometimes it does cause us a little bit of stress. But this can be very helpful people around you, okay? King of Swords is someone who takes the lead, has that all-important uh, conversation, has gains clarity and a sense of purpose. Because this could just be you, your energy, um, you and your person maybe even, and you're solidifying your relationship. You're talking about things, you're gaining clarity and insight, right? You're, you know, there's no pat, there's no loss of passion or anything like that there, okay? And the emperor, this is where you're getting a relationship to a very good, very strong, very stable kind of place. But there are people here, okay, Queen of, uh, King of Swords can be somebody who is very, um, uh, very clear in their communication, um, has a very important uh, message to bring forward. With the Emperor, um, I do feel, especially with the Six of Pentacles there, that there may be something here um, that has to do with a job, okay? Um, and this can be a legal situation, possibly. The King of Swords can be a shrewd negotiator, someone who has a little bit of a legal brain, okay, um, someone who can, is really, really decisive and very intelligent and quick on the mark. 
And with that six of pentacles, right, we get gifted something or we receive something. And so this could be where there's some sort of potential legal situation that is getting wrapped up in the month ahead that you've been waiting for. Okay, and this can bring you, um, you and your person some money, right? And it's just what you've been waiting for for a while. And that could be causing stress, right? It's like, oh, God, you know, I really need this to resolve itself. Okay, so you could be having that happening here. And this can be uh, very exciting for you, puts you back in the driver's seat. All right. And the emperor can be also like a boss, right? So perhaps some of you are going on job interviews, that kind of thing. And this does affect your relationship, right? Because when we have financial issues, right, it does cause, um, you know, a lot of stress <clears throat> in our lives, right? So some of you could also be putting up some very, very, very firm boundaries with an ex. And that can be part of the broken heart energy. That can be part of the page energy, right? Children. And so there might be something here where some boundaries are needed or there's a resolution that's needed. There's some sort of legal situation being wrapped up, right? Custody battles, that kind of thing, right? And we need to really put our foot down in that energy. But I do feel that there is some help and some support here if you need it. Now, if you are planning a wedding or anything like that, this is very people-y people, right? So a lot of help, okay? But sometimes everyone wants to be in charge. The king likes to take the lead, the queen of wands, <laughs> you try and you try and keep the queen of wands away good luck right queen of wands is very active very motivated has a lot of energy it's very open receptive and honest and truthful and wonderful okay but you can't you can't keep her on the back burner for too long and the emperor of course is like you know big man on campus energy like i'm old i'm wise i'm successful i know exactly what to do and you're not going to tell me any different but it can also be really good to help you build a strategy okay to help you make plans for something right very planning kind of energy with the emperor so i think if you are you know planning any kind of celebration or get together whether it's an anniversary a birthday a wedding anything like that i think there's um, a lot of people around you that um are willing to help you whether it's um you know creating something whether it's you know making the plans or whether it's even financial okay but with the ten of wands you uh, this could be you be, be this could actually be you delegating authority to be honest um but the ten of wands also you may need to put those healthy boundaries up because as helpful as people are and sometimes they overstep their boundaries or even overstay their welcome your hopes and your fears, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, okay? This is way more of a hope than a fear, but we'll address both. The Knight of Pentacles is commitment for the long term. Knight of, Pent Knight of Pentacles moves very slow. It's a very slow moving energy, very detail oriented energy, okay? Um, but this is one where we have an offer, we have a gift, we've got something of a reward. Whether this is that engagement, this higher level of commitment, whether this is that job, okay, a little bit of money coming in, right, whatever, or a purchase of some kind, maybe you and your person are looking to um, make some sort of purchase together, right, like buy a home together, that kind of thing. So you're really hoping that whatever that you, you're committing to and whatever journey you're on, you're really hopeful that you'll be successful in this and that your dedication, your hard work, and your patience will pay off. But of course, there's also sometimes a little underlying fear, like, <clears throat> you know, what if I'm putting all my eggs in one basket? What if this doesn't work out? What if we don't have the money? Um, what if our commitment isn't what I think that it is, right? So we do get those fears that do come to play um, a little bit in that energy, but I think this is way more hopeful than anything else. So keep that positive attitude. And we've got the Empress as your overall outcomes. Absolutely beautiful. The Empress brings love and abundance and all kinds of things into your world. Absolutely gorgeous energy. You have the resources that you need, a time of harvest. And this is also where our relationship blossoms and grows. And talk about the epitome of love. The Empress, she be it. Okay? So a lot of love here, a lot of growth, and a lot of potential for your future with this energy. Wonderful. Wonderful. The Empress, by the way, is also a pregnancy card, right? The birth of new things. Now, for one, it's very creative energy, right? So 
you know, if you are, um, you know, planning any kind of get togethers or anything like that, you know, tapping into your creative juices are really important, but it is a pregnancy, um, card and we do have your page of wands, um, down here too. So yeah, whether you're blending your families, adding to it, or you're, you know, getting prepared here, you might even get some good news. If you're looking to start a family, this could be some really good news for you. Okay. Um, but this can also be that, yep, we've made some decisions and kids are where it's at, right? So it's a very beautiful energy, whatever that happens to mean to you. But the Empress does bring lots of love, lots of abundance, expansion, growth in the biggest of ways, right? Like the epitome of love cards, okay, is that Emperor, as that Empress card. Now, this also can be soulmate energy here as well, uh, the Emperor and the Empress, okay, um, married couple, okay, or just the, that soulmate energy, okay, the divine masculine and the divine feminine, right? And what do we have up there? The yin and the yang card, right? The masculine and the feminine. So this can just be um, either somebody can come in and help you. Um, so maybe like some parents or grandparents or something like that. Um, they can help you along your journey somewhere, okay? Or there's the perfect partnerships that's found if someone is looking for that perfect job that gives you that abundance in your relationship and gives you a sense of relief, okay? But this can also be you and your person and your entire relationship just boom, coming into alignment in the most wonderful of ways. So let's grab a couple final messages for you guys and see what else is here for you. There is your next card. Power. Hey, Emperor brings power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. And there's those boundaries. So think about where you might need those to restore some balance, harmony, or even to put people in their place, okay? But remember, you have power. You are strong in yourself and in your relationship, all right? And there is your final message. That looks like someone's getting a massage. I could use one right now. And we have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. Beautiful message um, right there. So may, maybe you do get um, manage to get away for a weekend. You bring in grandma and grandpa or something like that to look after the kids. Um, if you've got them, you go away for a weekend. Maybe you do get like a massage or treat yourself to a spa weekend or something like that. And uh, because the Empress, uh, we can also be taking care of ourselves and nurturing our relationship as well. Okay. And, you know, forming and rekindling even that strong, loving bond. Right. So it's a beautiful energy there. I'm going to leave all that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated with you on some level. If there was, please take a moment and press like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn the notifications on as well. Even if you are already subscribed and you have those notifications, toggle them off and then back on again um, because, I don't know, the last few months with the subscriptions, notifications, things. People aren't getting them. It's a YouTube issue. Um, I'm not getting, I, I have mine set so that I get notified when my video does upload when it finishes, um, just to make sure that, you know, nothing went sideways and I'm not getting my own freaking notifications. So, um, if you're not seeing the channels that you normally want to see, um, you do sometimes have to toggle that subscription and the bell on and off. And sometimes you also need to put the channel name in your search on your YouTube homepage and search for it. And then it'll kick things back into, into high gear. So I know my homepage on my YouTube channel is like, I don't know what, I don't know where this stuff is coming from. So anyway, so I thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a fantastic July. And uh, again, congratulations to those of you who are getting what you want. All right. I'll see you later guys. Bye.